Have you been locked out of your Windows account? Even worse if it's a Microsoft account. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to reset the password without Microsoft at all. This is using all third-party tools. And best of all, they're free. Stay tuned. You know, it used to be really easy to reset a Windows password. However, since Microsoft introduced Microsoft accounts within Windows, it's considerably harder. This is because Microsoft ties your Windows account to your Microsoft account. So the only way to reset your password is to reset your Microsoft account password, an account that you may have lost access to. Because since Microsoft introduced their pins, a lot of people have forgotten their Microsoft password. This issue I've run into a lot with my customers and today I'm gonna to show you how to get around it. But first, I gotta pay some bills. So check out today's sponsor. Are you still running Windows 11 unactivated because the license just costs too much? Then you should check out today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, where you can get a valid Windows 11 license for around $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark and actually be able to change your desktop background with a valid license for Windows 11. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 11 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 11 and click the link that says change product key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark. And check out the description for deals on not just Windows, but Office 2. Now, on with the video. Now, first things first, I just have to say that this doesn't work if BitLocker is turned on. If your hard drive is encrypted, then I'm sorry to say you're kind of screwed. I've run into this a few times, and if you can't reset the password of your Microsoft account on Microsoft's website, then you've pretty much lost your data. This is one of the reasons why I recommend not using BitLocker. However, unfortunately, it turns itself on automatically with many new Windows installs if you set up a Microsoft account during the installation process of Windows. And since Microsoft requires you to create a Microsoft account during a fresh install of Windows, then you're pretty much guaranteed to have BitLocker turned on by default. But you know what? Today I'll show you how to determine if your drive is encrypted before we reset the password, just in case. But on the flip side, if you're looking for a way to make your system more secure so you won't be susceptible to having your password reset by this method, then it might be a good idea to enable BitLocker. Just don't lose your password. Seriously, I'm not joking. Don't lose your password. So with that said, let's jump on the system and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are in Windows 11. And if we go into settings right here, if we go down to accounts, you'll see that right now I am in fact logged on to a Microsoft account. And this computer also has a Windows Hello pin. And of course it has a password because it's connected to a Microsoft account. So let's just assume I've forgotten this password. If that's the case, you're gonna need another computer for the beginning of this how-to. And that's because we're gonna need to create a USB drive in order to reset the password. So let's just pretend like this is another computer. So the first thing you're gonna need is a USB drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that into the computer right now. Then we're gonna need to download a couple of things. So the first one is gonna be Hiren's Boot PE. This is a Windows 11 based boot CD that has tons of different tools in it. And one of the tools that come with it is the one that we're gonna be using to reset passwords. So to download this, you just click on their download link and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and click right here at this ISO. Now I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to download it again. But the second thing that we're gonna need is Rufus. And Rufus is just a utility for creating USB drives out of ISOs. I'll go ahead and link both of these websites down in the description below. But from here, you just scroll down and you download Rufus. I typically like to download the portable version, but you download either one you want. I'm gonna be using the portable version for this video right here. And just like Hiren's Boot CD, I already have this downloaded, so I don't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this real quick. I'm gonna open up my downloads folder. And here you can see Rufus 
and Hiren's Boot CD. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and launch Rufus. Go ahead and say yes to the user account control. And it's gonna ask you this the first time you launch it. It's gonna ask if you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates. I would say yes for this right here. And then once it opens up, it's gonna, it's gonna automatically detect your USB drive and make sure that this is the correct USB drive that you wanna use because if you don't, it could in fact destroy whatever's on whatever USB drive you use. So make sure to pick the correct one. And from that point, you go ahead and push the select button right here and we're gonna pick the Hiren's Boot PE that we downloaded earlier. And then go ahead and hit okay. And then at this point, there's one more key that I want you to press. Go ahead and press Alt E, dual UEFI BIOS mode enabled. And what this allows you to do is create a USB drive that will boot both UEFI and MBR. This is a tip that I actually got from people in the comments of a previous video that I was using Hirens in, and it's a really good tip. So I usually enable this every single time I'm creating a USB drive because there are some instances where you may need to boot off of an older system. You know, if you're trying to reset a password on an older system, it'd be helpful. And then you push start to start creating your USB drive. And at this point, it's gonna say that Rufus detected the ISO you selected contains a UEFI bootloader that has been revoked. Don't worry about this, go ahead and just hit okay, and it should be fine. And at this point, it's gonna warn you that all data on the USB is gonna be destroyed. So go ahead and hit okay. I'm gonna create the Rufus USB, and we'll move on to the next step. So now that you have your Hiren's Boot CD created, you'll be able to use this whenever you need to reset passwords. However, with that said, Hiren's is good for a lot of things. So it's a good idea to keep this drive around and use it later. So at this point, what you'll need to know is how to boot off of a USB drive on your specific system. On Dell's, you push F12 during the post screen and it'll give you the boot menu. And on HP's, you push F9 during the post screen and it'll give you the boot menu. Other systems may be different and you may have to refer to the manufacturer's website to find out how to boot your specific system off of a USB drive. And luckily, Hirens will typically boot off of a system with secure boot enabled, so you shouldn't have to disable that. However, if you do, it's fairly easy to disable that in the BIOS. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot my system off of Hirens, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so here we are in Hirens Boot CD, and one of the first things that I would do before you reset your password is go over to this PC and look at your C drive and see if it's accessible. If you can open your C drive and everything is there, then your system's not encrypted. Typically, if your system were encrypted, you would see this right here. And if that's the case, you don't want to reset your password. However, you actually won't be able to anyway. Let me show you why. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this now. We're gonna go into the start menu. We're gonna go into all programs. Then we're gonna go into security. We're gonna go into passwords. And then we want this last one right here. This is Windows Login Unlocker. And we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Now, as you can see, it has found a Windows 11 Pro install on the C Windows. However, if your system is encrypted, you won't be able to see this. It'll say that it can't find any Windows installs. However, if for whatever reason, you can actually go to this PC, double click on the C drive of an encrypted drive, and it will allow you to unlock the drive if you have your encryption key, which is a really long key that you can download from your Microsoft account. If you do that, and then you go into this program, you could potentially reset the password, but at that point, you really wouldn't have needed to in the first place because you already have your Microsoft password, and it doesn't make any sense of why you would do it in the first place. However, if you did do that, you could potentially really screw things up. So whatever you do, don't. So either way, now that we're in this program right here, and it detects our Windows install, we need to go down to the user account that we want to reset. And in this case, it's going to be the rich account right here. And now, as you can see, this is a live ID, and it does have a pin right here. And it says the password is unknown. So and the password is typically the live ID password. So it's the same password as your Microsoft account. And at this point, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and right click and hit reset password. And when you hit reset password, it's going to tell you that by resetting this password, it's going to turn your Microsoft account into a local account, which is necessary in order for this to work right here. You have to convert your account to a local account, but it will convert it properly and it will have all your data, so it should not It should be okay. So go ahead and hit okay, and it'll say user password reset, and as you can see, it'll say blank right here. But we still do have a pin also, so we're also gonna wanna right click on this and we're gonna wanna hit reset pin code as well, and then hit okay, and then at that point, it'll reset your pin also. And then once you do this, 
this, we can go ahead and reboot into Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot into Windows and I'll meet you there. So now that we have your Windows password reset, we need to boot back into Windows. And if you previously had a Microsoft account, there's one more step that you really should take. So once this system right here boots back into Windows, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, we don't have a password now. However, we still have our login screen. And that's something we're gonna take care of in a minute. So just go ahead and push the sign in button and you should get back into Windows. But as you can see, it, it also reset my Steam account. And this is one of the side effects that we'll talk about later in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Okay, so now we're in Windows. We're gonna go ahead and click the Start button, click on Settings, and if we go into Accounts now, you'll see that this is just a local account now. However, Windows is kind of in this halfway point where it knows it's a local account, but it's still kind of using the Microsoft account properties within Windows. So Windows is just a little confused at the moment, but we're gonna go ahead and straighten that out. So from here, we wanna go ahead and click on your info. And then from here, where it says you need to verify your identity, it's actually wanting you to log back into your Microsoft account. So it's wanting to fix this halfway point that it's stuck in by just logging back into your Microsoft account. But we don't wanna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this link here that says stop signing into all Microsoft apps automatically. And by clicking that, you'll see that this is now officially a local account and Windows will treat it as a local account as if it was always a local account. And at that point, you should be good. Now, at this point, you should have access to your system again. However, there's a major side effect if you use this method. Any passwords that you have saved in your browser, applications like Steam, as you saw, as well as your network share passwords will no longer be saved. This is because Windows encrypts those saved passwords using your Windows password. So if you no longer have a Windows password, then you can't decrypt your saved passwords and you'll be left just starting over essentially. But the thing is, in this situation, if you forgot your Windows password, then it really doesn't matter because you can't access your user account to retrieve those passwords anyway. But the nice thing is, if you use Google Chrome, then your Google account will have automatically logged you out. But if you log back in, you'll be able to retrieve your Chrome passwords. But with that said, I hope this video was helpful. And there's tons of other things that you can do with Hiren's Boot CD. And if you'd like to know more about that, then check out this video here. I don't actually cover every aspect of Hiren's Boot CD in that video, but I cover quite a bit of it. As always, you guys have a great day.